James Stadium in beautiful Tampa, Florida. And the blazing sun could be a big factor as the Panthers match up against the Buccaneers. We're here for another great game. Welcome to the action. I'm Al Michaels, my partner, John Madden. I tell you, if you're looking for someone to watch on defense, take a look at what he does all game long. Maybe he'll take on two blocks to free up someone else to make the play, or just plow over some lineman to get a sack. I'll tell you, when you talk about a defensive lineman, you're talking about this guy. Charlie Garner should see a lot of action to help give his offense a more balanced attack. The only way they're going to be successful against that defense is to keep them honest with the running game. It's definitely going to be a game of X's and O's, and who has the better game plan. Look at those guys down there. They can't even sit still. Heck, watching from up here almost makes me want to go down there and join in. Let's go to midfield for the coin toss. The teams have taken the field. We're ready for the kickoff. Let's go to the field. The Panthers are lined up for the kickoff. And he got all of that one. A great kick. They're ready to call their first play of the game. Our EA Sports coaching close-up features two of the premier coaches in the National Football League. Buccaneers head coach John Gruden looking for more from his offense. The quarterback play is efficient, but the rushing attack was not consistent enough last year, suffering some crucial injuries. Tosses it out to the right. He's brought down behind the line for a short loss. Continue looking at our EA Sports coach close up with John Fox, a former Raider and Giants defensive coordinator, who likes to put pressure on the quarterback in 2002, John's first year. The Panthers led the league in sacks per pass play and rushing yards per attempt. Throwing. Pass falls incomplete. So, John, we have two of the most talented defenses in the league featured in this game. Yeah, both of these teams bring a lot of talent to the table. Neither has any glaring holes in their front seven or in their secondary. So that makes them very dangerous on the defensive side of the ball. Moore, the man in motion. Dropping back. Going deep. Incomplete. Big play chance, but the defender was there to knock it away. This is a team that likes to take shots downfield when they see an opportunity. Passing downfield will open up the running game and passing routes underneath, even if you don't complete the pass. Here's the kick. From the 43. The offense just about ready to go as they take the field for their first possession. So we have first and ten here. The quarterback gets set with only one back behind him. Gets the toss to the right. Can't bring him down. Warren stops the play in the backfield. He tried to bounce it outside, but there was nothing available. They didn't fool anybody with that play call. The defense knew what was coming, and they shut that thing down quickly. They're coming with the blitz, and he dropped it. The tight end was right there, but he just couldn't get that pass under control. I don't know what happened there. The quarterback did his job delivering a catchable ball. He just couldn't come up with it. The Buccaneers come out in a nickel package. Throws it. This pass is incomplete. Smith got up and knocked that pass away. He's got great recovery speed. He can catch up to the ball even if he's caught out of position. That time he was right there in the secondary to tip the ball away. Three plays. They lost yardage. Here comes the punter. Here's the punt. The officials are trying to determine where it went out of bounds. First and ten. Garner lines up behind his fullback in the eye. He hands it off. Solid hit. Just crunching. And the thing is, when you get hit like that, it's like having a bumblebee in your helmet. You just can't get rid of it. Gain of seven. It's second down and three to go. The 
lineup of six defensive backs. Crosses it right. Grabs the off-target pass. Gamble records the tackle at the 49-yard line. Nice ball going to the air, and that'll move the chains. First and ten. The defense is shifting. Going to the left. Morgan brings him down at the 45. And he picks up about four. They have to get the ball inside the 39 to convert. Throws it. Complete. Hawkins makes the play at the 37-yard line. That was a good adjustment by the receiver as he reads the man coverage and finds open space. The thing with these option routes is everyone has to make their read quickly and make their adjustments quickly. Running option routes and running them effectively takes a lot of repetition and practice. Throwing on first down. With the pass, picked off. It's intercepted. It looked like the quarterback was confused with that coverage, and he throws the pick. That time they got him in the cover, too. They're a disciplined defense, and they're really caught out of position, and they make plays like that. With the carry, can't bring him down. Breaks away from the tackle. Goal makes the tackle at the 41. Pickup of about eight. Two yards to go. They'll go from the eye formation. Drop behind the line for a loss of the cover. He was met right at the line, might have even lost the line. That was a case of the defense getting under the pads of the offensive line. Usually the team that gets the best leverage is going to control the line of scrimmage. When you run it into the middle, you have to have some push or movement up front. At the end of the first quarter, we're all even. Tampa Bay, zero. Carolina, zero. The teams have switched sides, and we'll start the second quarter. Third and four. Here we go. The quarterback lines up with two backs behind him. Rolling right, on the move. This pass is incomplete. Not much touch on that pass. He may have tried to put a little too much oomph on that throw. Now here's the punt unit as the defense forces a three and out. A line drive from the 15. Watch this one here. He had them all lined up, looking for the knockout. He just missed. That's one of the things that's going on in this league right now. Too many guys going for the big hit instead of wrapping up the ball carrier. Garner. Morgan makes the stop at the 29-yard line. And they go with the defense with the run. They're going to keep running to see what the other team is willing to give them on the ground out there. Second and nine coming up here. They'll go from the I formation. They give it to the halfback. Fakes the handle. The quarterback is hauled down. He brought the quarterback down hard. And that's his first sack of the day. Ball on their own 23. The Bucks line up in a five receiver set this time. Drops back with the throw. Great throw. It's caught, but the defense stops him, and so it'll be fourth down. And that's what you need on a third down play. Make sure that he doesn't get the first down. Smith sets up to run back the punt. Here's the kick. He can't hang on to the kick. The Buccaneers grab the live ball. So it's first and ten following the fumble. Go 
The Panthers come out in a nickel package. Most of them can't bring him down. Manning makes the tackle at the 15-yard line. Hands off to the tailback. Gamble pulls him down at the 14-yard line. Two-minute warning coming up. With the pass, on the money. Room to run. Michael Allstock is in there for the touchdown. He gets a great block right here to spring him for the touchdown. I tell you, he takes the defender right out of his shoes that time. It's up. The extra point attempt is good. Quick strike. Yeah, they give opposing defenses fits because they have this capability of scoring so fast. Some teams just don't match up well against them. He signals for the fair catch. The defense forced a punt the last time after three plays. So they have first and ten here. Stallone starts out of the shotgun, going to the air on first down. He finds his man. Quarrel hammers him at the 28-yard line. Two minutes to go. The Bucks come out in a nickel package. Blitz is on. He just unloaded on him. Boom. Now that is what football's all about. And so a risky call to send the corner backfires and they give up a first down. Some quarterbacks love blitzing corner because they know that there's one less cover man out there and they have a lot better shot at hitting someone in stride. Stallone looking to pass. Lines up with five wide receivers. Throws it over the middle. Edwards with the tackle at the 42. And they'll be looking at third and short after that completion, John. That was a good read. He was looking for the deeper guy who was covered. And he made a quick decision to go to the receiver who would get him close to a first down. DeLone back in the shotgun. Looking for an option. He hits his receiver. Pro picks up just enough. But they don't want to go into the half down by this much. They're going to need some good throws and good clock management here. The Bucks come out in a dime package. He surveys the field, rolling out to his right. And it's caught. Big hit there. He was run over by a truck. Yeah, two-ton truck pulling a trailer. And they go with a no huddle. No. Yeah. Dropping back a pass on first down. Throws it. This one falls incomplete. We're just about down to one minute. The Buccaneers come out in a dime package. Looks like he's changing the play. Looking downfield, throws on the move. Barber brings him down at the 22. He was in perfect position to make that count. Yeah, the receiver showed great concentration looking that one right into his hand. Come out of the nickel. They're blitzing. The defender brings him down at the 14. Going to the air on first down. Pressure throwing on the run. Delong appeared to feel the pressure there. Yeah, and that's something the defensive coordinator mentioned in practice this week. Making the quarterback throw the ball before he's ready to throw it. This is where you want to find a mismatch on defense and try and expose it for the score. Maybe they try a new formation to cause some confusion down there. Hankman is in there for the touchdown. Casey comes in to attempt the point after. The kick is up. And he picks on the extra point. The Panthers draw even. The Panthers, a 
is set to kick it deep. Booming kick downfield. From the three. To the 20. They did a great job on their last drive moving the ball down the field for a touchdown. Let's see if they can duplicate it on this drive. The defense doesn't want to play too soft underneath, as this guy might throw to his back out in the flat. If they want to keep this thing going into halftime, they have to be aware of things like that. And it's complete. Tampa Bay calls a timeout. They have two timeouts remaining. So they have first and ten here. The Panthers come out in a dime package. Closing in, throws it, and he hits his target. He flings that pass right to his receiver. That quarterback rarely throws a bad ball. Ball on the 44-yard line. The Panthers come out in a dime package. Under pressure, with the throw, he finds his man. Ooh, that one will leave a mark. He got caught. I'll tell you one thing, he's going to feel that in the morning. He'll go no huddle here. Quick throw. Behind him, but he has it. Gamble makes the touch at the 26-yard line. The Bucks call a timeout. They have none left. They'll try to add three with a field goal before halftime. Martin Grammatical comes in to attempt what will be a 44-yard field goal. And it's on its way. The veteran kicks it through. No problem for him. Whatever the situation, he'll approach it the same way. Cool and smooth. Squib kick here from the 35. He takes a defender. Breaks through. This should be the last play of the half. Stallone goes to work with an empty backfield. Pressure coming. This one falls incomplete. Going into halftime, the score is 10-7. We'll go back to the play on the field. So before we start the third quarter, here's a quick look at how both teams have fared in the first half. He got all of that one. He won't return it. You don't see a fair catch very often on a kickoff. First and ten. The Buccaneers come out in a nickel package. Hand off to the tailback. Big pop that time. Boom! How that is big time football. They went with the running play. You never know when you're going to find some room and break loose into the secondary. Out of the gun. Drops back. He's looking. Rolling right. On the run. Great throw. The 50 at the 40. And he goes out of bounds at the 28 yard line. DeLong makes a lot of great throws while he's on the run. Yeah, he does. When you have a good athlete behind center, it gives you a lot more options on offense. You can roll out, you can bootleg, you can scramble, and that forces the defense to stay at home a little bit more and watch to see how these plays are developing. With the pass, and this pass is completed. Diving tackle at the 14-yard line. Colbert makes his second catch for a first down on this drive. First and 10. Come out in a nickel package. Davis with the throw. The defense has it. Porter Blitz got them that time. And they turn it over. He shouldn't have made that throw. He really didn't have a chance to see the field and threw it anyway. Following the interception, it's now first and ten. Despite very little success running on first down, they still lead. Some teams manage to get by pretty well without a solid running game. That's mostly because their passing game is very effective, especially their short passing game. It's first and ten. Six. 
They can't get it done on the ground on first down, John, but they're still leading in this one. And running is important, but they've got other weapons that can get them in the end zone. Garner. Peppers with the stop at the 32. He might have gotten a yard or two. That guy got knocked around by that defense. He needs a little protection from his lineman. Second and 10. The defense making some adjustments. Tosses it right. The pass ball's incomplete. Fields was right there. Break that play up. That's just great positioning by the defender. He has his eyes in the backfield the whole time, and he was right there to break the play up. With the pass, and the catch is made. Ooh, that one will leave a mark. He got hit so hard, he darn near had to take a taxi back to the stadium. Watch it here. This is a great call on third down to keep this drive alive. They were in a tough spot here, but this is a heck of a throw and catch to pick up that first down. Throwing on first down. Going long to the left. Incomplete. Johnson read it perfectly with single coverage, but the ball was tipped away. Sixth play of this drive. Carolina comes out in their nickel package. Drops back. Pressure with the throw. And it's complete. Big hit on the ball, Carry. And when you talk about getting unloaded on, that's what happened here. He just got unloaded on. Good looking play there as they pick up the first down and keep the drive alive. So they have first and ten here. Carolina comes out in their nickel package. Passing on first down. Closing in. Gets the pass off. And he makes no, he can't hold it in. He read the single coverage and went for it all on first down. Eighth play of this drive. The Panthers come out in a nickel package. Under pressure, throws it, and he hits his target. Flips the tackle. Morgan stops him at the 17-yard line. That'll move the chains, John. Yeah, when you put together a great pass with a heck of a catch, that's exactly what you're going to get. They're inside the 20 and have a three-point lead. Toss play to the left. Gamble drags the ball carrier down behind the line. He laid a good hit on him there for his fifth tackle of the game. They may want to dump that play, John. Yeah, that's what this defense will do to you. They're so good in pursuit that if you start trying to go east and west from the backfield, you're in trouble. I try and run the ball right at him. That'll negate the speed that these guys have to the outside. They'll need to reach the seven to convert for the first down. Defensive line shifting around a bit. The Panthers come out in a dime package. Stop behind the line, lost the cup. Guard couldn't escape the pursuit and was cut down quickly. These guys up front are very tough to block because they can use their size and strength to get excellent leverage on running play. Sometimes they struggle a little with their consistency, but they always seem to be a big factor when the game's on the line. Pittman. Mentor makes the tackle at the 19-yard line. Nothing doing on that running play, so they'll probably send in the kicker. I think so. When you've got the lead, you don't have to try anything fancy. You just tack on the three and put the game in your defense's hands. Dramatic. Will come in looking to try the field goal. And it's up. That successful field goal attempt is his second of the game. The Bucks are holding on to a slim lead. The Buccaneers are ready to kick this one off. And he got all of that one. A great kick. From the two. Slips the tackle. Great move. The defense intercepted a pass their last time out. First and ten. The 
Bucks come out on a nickel pack. Looking downfield, gets the pass off, and he's forced out of bounds at the 40-yard line. Perfect pass, great catch, and that'll move the chain. It's first and 10. DeLong goes to work with an empty backfield. He'll pass on first down. Rolling right, pressure coming, he throws on the run. Incomplete. Quarrel comes up to knock that ball out of the receiver's hands before he was able to get control of it. Yeah, we see a lot of footballs popping up when he makes contact. His instincts know when to deliver the hit and how to do it. The Buccaneers come out of a nickel package. On the move, he finds his man. Phillip stops him at the 46-yard line. Ball on the 46-yard line. The Bucks come out in a nickel package. He surveys the field, throws on the move, on the money, and he's knocked out of bounds at the 25. And this is the fifth play of this drop in field goal range. The Buccaneers come out in a nickel package. Pressure, throwing. This pass is incomplete. Bad pass. He may have been hit just as he threw. Yeah, an excellent job of creating pressure and forcing a bad throw. They're going to keep it moving here. They're heading straight to the line. Drops back. Looking for a receiver. Throwing on the run. And he stopped at the seven-yard line. They have seven yards to the end zone. This team can't afford a repeat of their last trip inside the 20. Rolling left. Rick tied after that touchdown. DeLong has now thrown for two touchdowns. Casey will break this fourth quarter tie if he can kick the extra point here. And it's on its way. The extra point attempt is good. Finally has a lead in the game here in the fourth quarter. Well, anytime you keep the score this close, anything can happen in the fourth quarter. Booming kick downfield. From the one-yard line. They turn their last possession into three points. Let's see what they do with the ball this time around. Almost at the two-minute mark now. Carolina comes out in their nickel package. On the carry. Witherspoon makes the tackle at the 26-yard line. They need seven. Slight change in the defensive alignment. The quarterback gets set with only one back behind him. Pump faking, rolling out to his right. With the throw, this one falls incomplete. Johnson found the single coverage he wanted. He just couldn't get it in there. Two-minute warning coming up. up with seven guys in the secondary. He hits his receiver. Hawkins takes him down at the 35-yard line. Nice read, finding the receiver who was in single coverage. And we've reached the two-minute mark. Apparently, the official upstairs saw something, and he'll have the ref take a second look at this one. John, they're trying to determine exactly where they'll spot the ball. I'll tell you what, unless they're seeing something that we're not seeing, I don't think they're going to overturn this one. So the referee agrees with the official upstairs, and this one has been overturned. Well, it was put in to right or wrong. Right there, it was wrong. And now it's right. Only one man in the backfield. To carry it. Can't bring him down. Dives and brings him down. Looks like he's calling an audible. Throws it. The pass falls incomplete. 
What a play by the corner to get to that pass. He really had good position on the receiver without interfering. Sixth play of this drive. Making some changes along the defensive front. The defense lines up in the nickel. Johnson with a man in motion. Dropping back. Gets the pass off. Incomplete. John is able to tip it away again. On every pass, there's a window you try to throw the ball through. And right now, the defense is just shut the window. And this is the seventh play of this drop. Even though it's fourth and long here, they, they're going to go for it. Tosses it right. And he hits his target. Manning with the stop at the 43. Calling an audible now. Dropping back the pass on first down. Throws it. Incomplete pass. No choice here, John. They just have to keep throwing. Yeah, they do. Running the ball isn't going to do a whole lot of good now. A little over a minute left. Press coverage on the outside. The Buccaneers line up in a five-receiver set this time. Dropping back. Pumps once. Throwing. Misses the tackle. Minter makes the play at the 27-yard line. He's rushing the offense back to the line. Passing on first down. Looking downfield. Closing in. Wraps him up and brings him down. Under pressure, goes with a short pass to the right side. Time is working against them. Yeah, I'm thinking they're going to keep going to the air, so it might be a little too late. So on third down, most likely it'll be a run to try to make the upcoming kick a little shorter. Here's a look at the third down success rate of each team. Third down is when you want your players to dig deep and make a clutch play. When you convert, it gives your defense a little extra rest and it gives your offense a fresh set of downs to work with. They would have preferred the kick to come with just a few seconds left, leaving very little time on the clock for the opposition when they get the ball back. Well, he's got to make the field goal first before they can start worrying about that. The kick is up. Not a good kick right there. Looking to end the game, they'll probably call a simple run play here. So they have first and ten here. They give it to the halfback. Wims makes the play at the 45-yard line. Now with little time left, a rushing play should be a good call here. They need five. The quarterback lines up with two backs behind him. Goal makes the stop at the 48. What a play. First down. I can't believe it. They pulled it out. What a call. What a play. What a game. I think they'll probably just kneel down on this play. They line up in the I formation. To carry it. Phillips makes the tackle at the 41-yard line. Only one more kneel down needed. They need about three. Davis lines up behind the school back in the eye. Warren records the stop at the 34. Davis picks up the first down. That's the second time on this drive he's been able to move the chains. And this is the fifth play of this drive. Davis, the deep back. And time runs out. The game is over. The final score is Carolina 14, Tampa Bay 13. Low scoring game as the teams finish less than a field goal apart. Jake DeLone had himself a big game and is our horse trailer player of the game.